welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. It's the podcast where digital discussions, the worlds of pop culture, social media, sports, TV, everything really. You know, tonight. <laughs> Corner Gas Animated premieres on comedy. Fred plays yeah. Hank on probably one of the most, not probably, the most iconic Canadian sitcom, Corner Gas. So we're Fred. Fred, welcome to Pop Turnative. Hey, yeah, thanks for having me. Iconic, that means uh, old, right? That means. Uh... <laughs> it can mean a lot of things. It can mean old, it can mean, uh, it can mean legendary. Like, I, I love the word <laughs> iconic. People have their own spin on it. So... It's, very, it's very Canadian, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. Canadian. <laughs> As it goes, we have a lot of people from the U.S. come on the show and they don't know I'm Canadian until I tell them. And then they're like, you know what? Your accent definitely is See, I different. Don't, I don't get that they go the Canadian accent because when they may, they go, oh, that's so Canadian the way you say a, a boat or whatever. And then I'm like, eh, we could be from Minnesota. You don't know. Exactly. No, absolutely. So what was kind of the first what were, what were you kind of thinking when you found out that they were making Corner Gas into an animated series? Uh, I was thinking, sweet, I got a job, which is uh, always good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was really, when Brent called, uh, <laughs> because we, we did the movie, yep. and I thought, okay, that's it. You know, the, the world's done. And then when Brent called and sort of gave us the heads up and was asking sort of our interest level, um, I was like, well, we're going to do more Corner Gas. So it made sense that if we are going to do more, we have to do something different. And I don't know, like, it just seems to work. Like, Corner Gas and the animated uh, uh, thing, I don't know, it seems to be a good fit. I mean, we're going to find out if it works or not for, for audiences. But everything I've seen, it, it totally makes sense. So I was pretty excited when I found out. No surprise. Your character, Hank, isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. No. Um. It's going to be cool because it's already a character that can be compared to a cartoon character. Now he's actually a cartoon <laughs> character. How is that to do the voice of him on the animated screen? Well, yeah, a lot of a lot of people think that uh, Hank, that was just me acting. That was just me showing up, man. I'm just not the brightest guy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not much acting. No, I'm, I'm kidding. No, this, I'm not kidding that much, actually. Um, it was It was great. Like, I mean, other than... Other than the fact that I could just show up in my pajamas if I want to do the voice, it's it's uh it, it was great to be. I always said I would play Hank for as long as they'll let me. So I love being Hank, and I'm just I'm stoked they get to be him more. What do you kind of think was the you know Corner Gas was very popular, like I said, um, and then they made a movie out of it. Now the animated series. What do you think kind of resonated with Canadian audiences? Like, what do you think like people liked about it the most? Well, you know, that's so tough. I don't know. I mean, I mean, because if I knew that I would be I would be sitting here writing a hit television show. <laughs> so I don't know what it was. You know, it, it just it just hit a chord. Like, I think Brent made a show that he wanted to see, you know, and it was something he he, he knew. Like, I, I he always says that, like, Corner Gas is the world he envisioned he'd be living in if he wasn't doing stand up comedy. Right. Like, he'd just yeah. be back at his hometown working probably at the corner store the gas station or something so he just he just went out and made a show that uh he would like to see and it was just it just worked out that a whole bunch of other people wanted to see that show too um no. I, I personally i think the thing that i'm most proud of the show is that um you know there's fewer and fewer shows on television where the entire family could sit in front of the tv and they get something out of the show right mm -hmm. and i i think I think that's great, and it's the thing I'm most proud of of the show. So maybe there's just something like that. Maybe people just, you know, they just want a half hour where they can just spend some time with, you know, everybody in the family or themselves and, and just kind of escape for 30 minutes. One of the things that I love about sitcoms, and I'm sure a lot of people like it too, is, you know, obviously you have the people that binge it, watch episode one, and go for the whole series, but you can kind of flip on an episode of Corner Gas, and it can be like season two or three, and it's like you're not – and you don't have to – you know, watch the first episode. You could just like dive into an episode, basically. Yeah, because, and you know, that, I think that's what's big about sitcoms. Yeah, I mean that's and that was the design, you know, from Brent and all the the writers, the showrunners. Um, 
was that they wanted a show that you could pop in and out wherever you, you know, it was the world never changed from the beginning of the episode to the end of the episode stuff would go on. And then at the end of the episode, they're right back in that world that uh, is corner gas. So uh, yeah. And that, like I said, sometimes you just want to, you don't want to think, right. You just want to sit and be entertained. And, and uh, I think corner gas is a, is a good show for that. It's, it's, it's comfy. You as, you know, we talked about Hag, but you as Fred Awanek, you have done, you know, film as well, because people know you from Corner Gas, but you, and, you know, Dad from Air, but, you know, you've done film as well, and we'll get to it later, but, you know. <laughs> I know where you want to go. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing it, okay? Yeah, but, that's good, that's good. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't, so, Just Friends, which is yeah. one of my favorite movies, you play, um, you play Clark, and yeah. that, just, that... Friend, just, just friends. I wasn't on friends, the television no, show. Just I wish, <laughs> I wish I'd be a multimillionaire. But my, my question is, is we'll get into the movie later because we have okay. a surprise for the people that oh, we love do. that okay. movie. We have a big surprise. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. I'm, su- I'm going to be surprised. Oh no, you know what it is. <laughs> you, right, right. you said copy that, you know, you're in. <laughs> but <laughs> um, TV and film is kind of like, Film has always been there, but TV has kind of come a long way because you have people that grew up and were like, oh, I want to be a, a film star. But now you have people yeah. saying like, oh, I want to be a TV star. Like TV has yeah. come a long way. What do you think about that? The evolution of television the last couple of years? Uh, well, it's pretty amazing. Like my wife and I, you know, we, we love binge watching television shows. Like we just finished uh, Broadchurch on Netflix and uh, we get right into it. I love that. Like I love shows that, well, it's a love-hate thing because you end up spending like hours in front of the television. But uh, binge watching is the greatest thing that ever happened in entertainment for me as an audience member. I don't know about our society; that's a different conversation. But uh, yeah, when I started out, I didn't want to do television. I was like, I want to be a proper film actor. You know, mm-hmm. like I I looked at people like Robert De Niro, and I'm like, you know, I know it's weird to say the you know, Hank Yarbo guy wanted to be like Robert De Niro, but that's what I set out <laughs> to do, right? Um, and then. You got Corner Gas was my first uh, regular character in a television show. And by the end of first season, I was like, I just want to do this. I love this. I love getting up every day and, you know, one, being a working actor, having a job, sort of, it's the most, the closest to security a working actor can get, uh, especially in Canada, is to have a series that, you know, hopefully goes for three, four. In our case, we were lucky. We went for six seasons. And uh, you, you know, you have a job, but, to really just be on set every day. It's just awesome. And in a film, I mean, there's, there's good and bad to both. Like in film, it's great because you're, you're a character. And if, if you really don't like the character you're playing, well, I'm going to be done in two months. I don't have to, I don't have to be him anymore. I was just fortunate at corner gas. Like I was playing a character I loved. So no, absolutely. I also love too, because there's so many different shows and movies and, you know, you have screenplays, adapted screenplays. I mean, for example, you know, you were in the Nickelodeon movie swindle and that was yeah. based on one of my favorite books growing up. Right. So um, it, it's one of those things where <laughs> you keep saying things like growing up and iconic and I can't help I'm but sorry. think Jeez, he keeps calling me old. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> you, you read swindle growing up. It's like, Jesus, growing up. <laughs> well, no, I was a kid. Like, no, I, you know, know, I, I know, know, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just asking with you. Who <laughs> wrote that again? Secure... That, was that Gordon Corman? Who wrote swindle? Uh, oh, you're putting me on the spot. I Louis can't Sa- remember. Louis Satchar? You, you know you know better than me I, okay. I didn't read the book I just, that was a fam- I, that, that was a big book like, I, I, yeah I knew people it was a big deal for for a lot of uh, kids and stuff and the movie you know it's funny because people every once in a while people ask me do you get recognized as Hank I was like I get recognized more as, as swindle like I'd be walking <laughs> in Vancouver anyway right like I, I was walking down the street a few months ago and some kid was looking at me with like this strained look on his face and like pointing at me Mr. Swindle Mr. Swindle <laughs> That was a lot of fun. That movie, I had a blast. Do that. you do you get recognized as Clark? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, yeah, good. once in a while, yeah, I recognize about... you as Clark. You know, everyone's like, "Oh, I corner gas, corner gas." No, he's Clark from Just Friends. Yeah, that that was a that was also that we shot that in Regina. I don't know if you yeah. knew that. That, mm-hmm. that was shot in Regina during the winter. The first day I was there for shooting, it was minus fifty two with the wind. Oh. It was insane. Uh, we'd never been in there the winter for corner gas at that point. Um, yeah, that movie was fantastic. Like it, it. it was just such a great time, and it is. It, it's a great. I consider it a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie. Yeah, it's like, just 
How many laughs? There are so many laughs in that movie. Small little laughs. Me and my sister, we always find funny things about that movie. When you're doing dental work on Ryan Reynolds and you're talking about like um, his, his night with Jamie... And then, like, your dental hygienist is like, oh, another day date? And he just looks at her and he's like, yes, a day date. Like, those little, I know, we just find, like, there's so many parts in that movie that are hilarious. Oh, good. Yeah, I, and it, it, everything about it was a lot of fun. I, 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 uh, Ryan Reynolds was, he's, he's a solid dude. And he, he gave me two or three lines in the movie that weren't in the script. And he's like, dude, you should you should say this. I think this would be funny. And they were like, like uh, he's Jersey. He skis in his jeans. Was one of them. No, and no, I, no. Don't, don't talk about that. Oh, yet. oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Oh sorry. man, See, he, he didn't give me the heads up. You could do like a little quick edit or something. Yeah, I, I probably bleep, will. Bleep it out. Bleep yeah. It out. <laughs> Use your podcast magic to get. No, rid absolutely. Of it. Yeah, but no, Ryan Reynolds, um, definitely. But there was like a chemistry with you two in that movie. You could tell you guys were friends, like in the movie. Like it was awesome. Oh well, that's good. We, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend we were best buddies, but he was he was like just awesome on set. Like he, he he's a he's a quality dude. I don't know if it's because he's Canadian, or he was clearly brought up real well because he a guy's a huge star. Even at that point, he was just sort of on the cusp of becoming that massive star that he is now. And I was just blown away just how approachable and nice he was. Mm-hmm. He's a good guy. We have a few questions about Corner Gas, Corner Gas, I mean, Before we go there, we have a surprise okay. for the Just Friends fans out there. We are actually going to reenact a scene. We are? Yes, from the movie. You know this. I didn't know this. Did you tell me and I overread it? <laughs> yeah, you I said don't my, I don't have my script in front of no, me. No, but you know, as much as you remember, okay? so Okay, okay. This is going to be bad because I haven't watched it. Okay, in a so bit. we'll, we'll okay. do it right now. So, and you see him out there with a the guitar. It's like he has 15 fingers. Everybody loves him. I can't compete with that. You can't compete with that? You're you're L.A. You date models. He's Jersey. He skis in his de- jeans. It's Dinkelman, Dusty Dinkelman. I did it way better on the day. Oh yeah. man, that was that was, that was gold. That was yeah. oh my god. Could you actually could you submit that to the Canadian Screen Awards for it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's only fifty bucks. It's not a big big uh, expense. But uh, yeah, no, but the focus obviously is is corner gas. What do you what do you hope people kind of get? Um, take from the animated series that's kind of continuation or that you know it's kind of maybe paying homage to the uh the sitcom like what do you think what do you hope people get out of it Fred? well i hope i mean i hope i hope a lot of things i hope i hope people really like it i hope they you know the tr- like real fans the longtime fans of corner gas are really happy that you know with the new version of it they, it's still home to them yeah. i also hope it's uh, with the with the animation. I hope maybe it brings in a new generation of fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those people that are tired, you know, the real uh, diehards that have been watching the reruns for for years and years and tired <laughs> of seeing the same episodes. I hope it gives them a new life and like, oh, cool, new new episodes to watch. So, and for me, selfishly, I hope enough people watch it so I have a job for the next few years. It would be it's nice. a it's a little loophole kind of where it's like, oh yeah, the show um, we stopped making the show, but. You know we're gonna make new episodes, but it's now it's not the it's not the same thing because now it's animated, but it's gonna be very similar. It is. So I should say, like the 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 really and the guys did a really good job of of maintaining the world of Corner Gas. Like it still yes. feels like nothing really has changed in certain terms of the tone of the comedy and all that stuff. But where it is different, like it is different, is when they go to the flashbacks. And like fantasy sequences, the writers have like way more leeway. They can like, like just for instance, they, they go to a post-apocalyptic world that we'd never be able to do. So it gets a little crazier. There's like a Sasquatch fighting a unicorn, you know, (laughs) that kind of stuff. But, but then when you come back to the world of corner gas, all that stuff is, is still comfy, right? No, it's, it's amazing. I got to mention it too, because you're a big hockey guy. You're a goalie, correct? Yeah. I got a game tonight, actually. I'm going to (laughs) miss, I'm going to miss the live the live thing so i gotta come you know as soon as i get off the ice i gotta get on the twitter and do some live tweeting you know you're you're in canada when you're gonna miss the first episode for a hockey game that's amazing <laughs> i couldn't find a guy to spare for me so i gotta play <laughs> i gotta play oh man well you know we'll wrap up Fred. thank you so much uh, for coming on the show this has oh. been this has been awesome yeah my pleasure thanks for having me and plug away where can people follow you on social media 
Um, what can they expect? Where could they kind of work? They watch, you know, um, Quarter Gas Animated starts tonight on comedy, so they could watch our comedy. Yeah, correct? 8 p.m. comedy, and uh, only in Canada right now, but I know they're working on getting it uh, outside the borders. But uh, if you don't have comedy uh, network, uh, it doesn't matter because I think uh, I'm pretty sure Bell Media is is uh, is uh, giving a free preview to comedy for the next uh, I think maybe the whole month. I'm not entirely sure, so check check in on that. But if you do have comedy, 8 p.m. tonight, please watch. Please watch. I need a job. Uh, You're not watching. You're gonna be <laughs> stopping pucks. I know, but my parents are. They're watching for me. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on uh, I'm just my name Fred Awana, at Fred Awanek. Uh, on Twitter and uh, Freddy want it uh, on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Clark, which is, is just pictures of things I want, like goalie gear and beer, basically. Is what my Clark. Instagram. Clark, it's been a pleasure. Please say hi to Darla. And I will. Darla was there. <laughs> actually, Darla. We saw Darla the other day. She, anyway, actually, can, before we go, Darla, Amy Matissio, who played yeah. Darla, was uh, the stand-in and played a few roles on Corner Gas through the whole run. Wow! So, yeah, so we were actually really good friends in real life. That's awesome. And uh, we had Peter. We had um, I don't know who he voices. He does a few, but uh, we had voice actor Peter Kalamis on Peter the show Kalamis. a couple yeah, weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. He, he, oh man, it was. I have never la- like I laughed so hard. He's a funny guy. Like he's, he's probably dude, one of yeah. the funniest guys I've ever interviewed. <laughs> like, oh well, th- thanks, bud. Yeah, thanks oh, a lot. No, I, after no, you, of cool. course. This is a great way to end the. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I'm, call- is, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you old. I'm calling yeah, you yeah. not funny. What am I doing? I'm yeah. like the worst podcast host ever. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. That's good. <laughs> well, thank you so much, man. And all the best of Corner Gas Adam. And all the best of your game tonight. Yeah, thanks. I'll need it. I'm a terrible goaltender. Perfect. Well, this has been Pop Turnative, Corner Gas Anime series tonight. Um, YouTube.com slash pop for the video episodes. If you don't want to see our faces, you can just listen on uh, iTunes or Spotify. Until next time, this is Fred Awanek and PD Beat signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.